there's 14 lead changes in this one, 10 ties. It wasn't an easy one out there. It wasn't beautiful, right? But how did how did you describe the grind of this one? Uh, it was definitely a grind. Um, <laughs> I think we were a little bit tired uh, in the first half, but then we just figured out, got our second win in the second, and uh, picked it up defensively. The intensity picked up on both ends of the floor, and uh, he's pulled away. How did Karis Avert touch every part of that fourth quarter? Um, he touched every part of the fourth. Um, defensively, he was very active. Offensively, knocking down shots, making plays for everybody. Um, he always leaves his mark on the floor, so uh, it was good to see him just coming to himself. When he's able to play like that, how can he change the complexion of this team heading into the playoffs? Uh, he's a big help. He just having another ball and having another score on the floor. Um, somebody that just created for themselves and just helps everybody else on the floor. And defensively, I mean, he's super long, he's active, um, and he takes challenges, so we definitely need that on both sides of the floor. Donovan said he's potentially an X factor when it comes to playoff time with his play. Do you see that as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, his ability to knock down shots, uh, make plays for everybody, plus himself. And um, we can switch everything on the defensive end, uh, super long. Um, he's active, like I said, uh, very handsy. So, uh, He's definitely an X-Factor for us, for sure. I know you said the other night that you guys have had your backs against the wall before and responded well, but with the playoffs right around the corner, how important was it for you guys to show that again? Um, I think it's a good thing to have our backs against the wall all the time, but uh, it's just showing our resilience. Um, I mean, we never give up. We never just throw in the towel. Um, so... Um, I mean, we had, we had moments like this before, just having our back against the wall, and we just always keep fighting. Uh, we always find a way to just get ourselves back in the game. And when we do that, we know we can get over the hump. So I don't know if it's a good thing, but uh, we have to just start off games a lot better, in my opinion. What is it about you guys in the fourth quarter? Just the intensity just picks up. Uh, just defensively. I think we're just locked in defensively, and uh, that just leads to offense. And when we get stopped defensively, everything opens up on the offense, and man, we just get out in transition. Uh, Ams getting lobs, getting wide open threes, getting layups. So uh, just the intensity just picks up in the fourth. Is there something that's set before fourth quarters, or is it just like an understanding? Yeah, it's an understanding for my group. Um, we know it's winning time. When the fourth comes around, we only have 12 minutes to finish the game, and uh, we want to finish hard uh, in a competitive fashion. And that's what we try to do every night. Is there anything at this point that Donovan does that surprises you? No. <laughs> I mean, that's what he do. That's what Don does. Uh, he's elite. All he be a player, MVP candidate. I mean, what else can you ask for from a guy like that? Uh, and he wants to win, so he takes criticism from all of us. Uh, he's a leader. I mean, it's, it's not you can really ask for, really. I mean, it's you don't really see a lot of all stars like that that can just take accountability from other people and actually listen. So uh, it's cool just having on the squad.